Ambassador Matute, Hello, it's a pleasure how are to you? meet you. Very I'm good. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. My wife, Gabriella. Oh, hello, Mrs. Gabriella. Hi, nice to meet you. Welcome nice to, meet to you the restaurant of Peru. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you please? Yes, please, thank you. Oh, wow. Your residence is beautiful, Ambassador. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome uh -huh. to the restaurant of Peru. I see a lot of paintings around here. Um, are these all from Peru? Yes, all of them are from Peru. Uh -huh. It's our uh, personal collection. Oh, yeah. I see. We have uh -huh. 84, but we bring here only 22. Oh, I see. And it's mixed with uh, classic Peruvian painting uh -huh. and modern painting. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So. Would you mind introducing your paintings for our viewers, please? Yes. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce uh -huh. these paintings who belong to the Chimu culture. Oh, this is a uh -huh. funerarial mask uh -huh. that oh, they use yeah. when a dignitary, very high ranked dignitary die, mm -hmm. they put it a golden mask in oh, this. I and see. they represent one of the god of Chimu, the principal one who named it Nyailam. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know? Very important for his uh, own culture. Mm -hmm. I see, it's beautiful. This is a, a mother painter, you know? Oh, her name is beautiful. Silvia Blanco. Oh, I see. Uh, uh -huh. She painted herself. Oh, you know? uh -huh. Now she's a very famous uh, painter. She's living now in Dominican Republic, but she's a Peruvian. Mm -hmm. A oh, beautiful I girl. I love the combination of color. Yeah, uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. it's unique. And you have to know that the Peruvian culture is mix of color. Oh, right. When uh -huh. you go to the highlands, uh -huh. or even in the coast, it's a lot of mixture of colors. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, so she's yeah. inspired by the nature of Peru, beautiful yes, nature of Peru. Yes, definitely. Uh -huh. definitely. Uh -huh. now, wow. Now we, 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 want, we go to the ancient time. Wow. Uh -huh. This kind of ceramic is very old. At least it's 600 years old. At you least know? 600 years yes. old. And I wow. told I told you that uh, before Incas uh -huh. were different kind of cultures, very oh. rich, very uh -huh. wise. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This one represent one of them. This is from the north of Peru. Uh -huh. He is, if you see well, is somebody a god who uh -huh. is flying. Right. With yes. his uh -huh. legs uh -huh. here. Yes. You know? Right. This is also a mochica chimu. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This one also is Mochica, and you can see the warriors. If you came right. closer, uh -huh. you can see warriors, they fighting one to another. Uh -huh. Maybe they fight up, uh, in between Incas mm -hmm. and Mochicas, because mm -hmm. the Mochicas also was uh -huh, a very uh -huh. strong army in this uh -huh. time. So these ceramics represent each culture? Exactly. Uh -huh. like but we have part? more, but uh -huh. this is only a short uh -huh. uh, represented. But uh -huh. in, in the museum there, we have thousands of thousands of this, wow. this kind of thing. Uh -huh. If for that the government permit us to bring it here, uh -huh. but we take very care of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can only imagine that how rich Peruvian culture was in the uh -huh. past. Yes. Yes. You are very uh -huh. welcome to go to Peru. Uh -huh. Yes, <laughs> I should. <laughs> of course, with all your team. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Thank you. Before we start, 
I invite you to taste the pisco sour. Oh. This is going very well with the ceviche, you will see. Oh, salute. Salud. Salud, mi amor. Our traditional drink. Oh, thank you, salute. Mm -hmm. mm. Pisco sour is made of grapes. Oh, the yeah. liquor is made uh -huh. of grapes. When the Spanish arrived to Peru, mm -hmm. they been grape, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But they made this grape in the coast, which is a desert, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And the grape change, mutate. Oh, we I have see. a very uh -huh. more sugar grape, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. for that we can get pisco. Oh, in each okay. bottle of pisco, uh -huh. we have eight kilos of grape. Wow. Okay? Uh -huh. Oh, I heard that Peru is really well known for its food, but unfortunately I've never had a chance to visit Peru yet. So this is my first time to try all the Peruvian food. Oh, thank you very much. You will enjoy the ceviche first, please. Uh -huh. This one. How did ceviche become a ceviche? Is mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. because of the fishermen? Uh -huh. They went fishing uh -huh. and they catch the fish uh -huh. and they fillet the fish. And out of that fillet, mm -hmm. they get the piece of Mm. a fish mm -hmm. and they put all a garlic and lemon oh i see so uh -huh. it's raw fish with lemon and garlic it's raw fish, and raw yes. fish. Oh. part of it to, you serve it with sweet potato oh i see mm. would we'll eat this with some um, mm. sweet, sweet potato, potato. Mm -hmm. oh it's very delicious Mm. When you eat the ceviche, it's a juice in there. Yes. And we name it leche de tigre. Tiger milk. Tiger milk. Tiger milk. Uh -huh. Because if you take it, they give you a lot of uh, energy. Energy. Oh, I see. <laughs> and the other one is the causa. It's made also with lemon and jello uh -huh. chili. Uh -huh. Mix it together, uh -huh. and they make a mashed potato on uh -huh. it, and you can fill it up with. Right now we're gonna have it with uh, craft meat, mm -hmm. but you can have it with tuna or with chicken uh -huh. or avocado, uh -huh. anything you would like to put on it. I see that the color of the put mashed potato is very yellowish. Yellow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very, that's the color it should be for us. Oh, Remember mm -hmm. that Peru have so many kinds of potato, and one yes, of the potato we heard. have mm -hmm. is jello potato. How many kinds of potatoes do you have in Peru? 3,000. Three. Thousand. Thousand? Research. But oh, people wow. say, the scientific say that it's mm -hmm. 12,000. Uh -huh, but I research uh -huh. and really put it in a category is 3,000. Uh -huh. Wow, that's a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. This is our dessert. Uh -huh. It's a mazamorra morada uh -huh. made of the corn, oh. black corn, like a jello. It looks like it a is. jello. Uh -huh. no? Mmm, I really like it. So this is pineapple inside of pineapple. Mm -hmm. You can put pineapple, or mm -hmm. also they put uh, apple mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and plums. Perfect dessert. Yes. <laughs> um, thank you so much for all of these preparations. And should I suggest that we move on and continue our conversation? Oh yes, perfect. Um, so, Ambassador, I heard that you were appointed as an ambassador of Peru to Korea last year. So it's about one and a half year, I believe. Um, how has your life been so far in Seoul? Well, I think it's magnificent. My wife and myself, we enjoy it a lot. The Korean culture, the Korean people, uh -huh. and also the, how to say, the work that I do for my country. Mm -hmm. um, so let's delve into our bilateral relations between Korea and Peru. Uh, we established our diplomatic ties in 1963 mm -hmm. and has maintained good relations since then. Um, how are our relations now? Well, uh, our relations is in a very high level in political, in uh, economic, trade, yeah, technology. Mm -hmm. We work a lot with, with Korea. Uh, there are some in a secret that you need to know that Peruvian believe in Korean people. We have mm -hmm. the confidence mm -hmm. in working together. 
mm -hmm. because people are very sincere, very open, mm -hmm. you know, and people who go and work in Peru, the Korean who go and work in Peru, they, uh, they show that they are a lot of respect for our people mm -hmm. and we also have a lot of respect for Korea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I see. Um, speaking of our good relations, last May there was a Korea-Peru uh, foreign minister summit held in Paris and um, I've heard that um, it was a good chance to reaffirm our close ties um, between our two countries that have worked alongside each other on international stage. Um, I would like to ask you what would be some good examples of collaboration between the two countries in international affairs? Well, we, we collaborate in many fields in the United Nations, you know, and also, of course, uh, Peru support the idea of uh, a free peace uh, uh, peninsula here mm -hmm. in, in Korea. Mm -hmm. But one of the more important things that now is, uh, is working is that Peru is requesting to be in the OCED countries, and mm -hmm. we have the support of Korea. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, we support Korea in his uh, goal to be a social state in the uh, Pacific Alliance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, speaking of Pacific Alliance, I've heard that during this event, our Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa um, had a kind of firm request for support from the Peruvian government in Korea's efforts to um, become an associate member of PA. Um, what kind of benefits do members of PA have? Well, uh, the PA, the Pacific Alliance, is a group of integration for, mm -hmm. for the four more strongest countries in Latin America. Mm -hmm. We represent more like 250 million people, mm -hmm. you know, and we're supposed to be the eighth uh, big economy in the world altogether. Mm -hmm. And trade and business is in the way. And also, of course, interchange of culture, interchange mm -hmm. of education, mm -hmm you know, and, and relation in technology and, and other matters. Mm -hmm. um, I believe we can take the FDA between Korea and Peru exactly. as an example, something that really boosted mm -hmm. our uh, relations. Um, now it's been eight years, so eight years later, how do you see our bilateral relations and also what do you think um, can be improved? Okay, for the free trade agreement, you know, it's, uh, it's very good for both countries. Peru has been growing a lot in trade with, uh, with Korea. Our bilateral trade is $3.3 billion, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Of course, Peru have now uh, export a little bit more, $2.4 billion. And uh, this is because Korea need a lot of raw material from Peru. Mm -hmm. Copper, mm -hmm. zinc, mm -hmm. you know, name it. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a real scene. But we are also very interested in buying more for Korea because we believe that the trade is in two directions, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Now in Peru you can find a lot of uh, cars like Hyundai, Kia, and this is, uh, I think you are selling better than the other countries, you know, and we are very, uh, very, go uh, very good uh, to have this kind of products in Peru because it's especially for our country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I know that two countries are collaborating more and more um, in the field of technology. And not long ago, one of the Korean corporations took over PMO of the project to build a new international airport in Peru. Um, and they also signed an MOU um, for cooperation in smart business as well. Um, what kind of impact can we expect from the technological cooperation and collaboration between Korea and Peru? First of all, I wanted to tell you that uh, the Korea obtained to, to build the Chincheros Airport. But he obtained this because it was a bid, and five countries was in, in the mm -hmm. bid, and Korea mm -hmm. got the best proposal. Mm -hmm. Korea, I think, have a very nice technology that you can apply in airports. I think the, the, the Peruvian government has been looking this careful. And also, Korea not only is going to build the airport, but also is going to make uh, fix the, how to say, the surrounder, mm -hmm. uh, uh, small cities were there with water, electricity, mm -hmm. and it's going to convert maybe in the one of the first beginning of uh, uh, smart cities. Mm -hmm. We have also, uh, have been signed with Korea uh, to get two small cities in Peru. Mm. In, in the border. One is in, in Pura, in mm -hmm. the north, and another is in Tacna, in the south, you know, in the, in the borders of, of mm. Chile and at the borders of, uh, 
of mm. Ecuador. Oh, I see. Um, in what other fields can we expect more collaboration? Well, I think in the, in the future, collaboration in the Antarctic uh, things, because we have also a place in the Antarctic, and I know that Korean have uh, uh, his place in the Antarctic, the bases we name it, and we can interchange people in between the two uh, big ships that go to there and make research because it's a, it's a research and scientific uh, expedition that we made there. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and the other the other thing that we can we can do is uh, in the future also to develop more industries in Peru. You know, mm. because uh, our country produces uh, raw materials, but we wanted to industrialize some kind of uh, these uh, mm. these materials. And mm -hmm. Korea have the the technology for do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. Um, I know Peru also um, had a sad chapter in its history, just like Korea. Could you briefly tell us about Peru's process of finding its independence? It's true that we have. Uh, colonized by, by Spanish. In, in Peru, it's actually, it, when the Spanish came, the Inca, you know, was the Impa, you know, and they fight against the Incas. But mm. before, uh, before Inca was 30 cultures, you know, also they're different from the Incas. Unfortunately, the Incas who was the, the, the representative of our people, you know, and I always, uh, I always I say, we are the Incas. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and we continue to be the Incas. Mm -hmm. It's nothing is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Now the independence is uh, is uh, is a process that we made. You know, with help of the son of the Spanish and the other people who came, and also San mm -hmm. Martin arrived from Argentina and made the independence. I mean, was a, a, a mutual uh, and, and, and coordinated independence for everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. you know the the how to say the mestizos that we name. The, 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 how to say, the descendant of Spain and the other people who live in Peru, mm. you know? And today, Peru is a very integrated country. It's a multicultural country. Right. And we, we are working and respect this different kind of uh, small culture that we have there. Mm -hmm, I see. Um, on July 26th, there was a special event held in Korea to celebrate Peru's Independence Day. Um, our team was also there, so let's check it out. Yes. Last month, on July 26th, Ambassador Matute organized a very special event in Seoul to celebrate one of Peru's biggest annual festivities, its Independence Day. This is the 198th anniversary of the independence of Peru. They mean the liberation for our independence for the Europeans who came there. And all people make parties all around Peru, in all provinces and in all districts. Peruvian Independence Day in Korea. Many Koreans as well as Peruvians living in Korea have gathered today to celebrate. I am so excited to, to celebrate my national day. Uh, too far to my country with other Peruvian people here in Korea. Peru people don't meet so they come here so many people can meet so they can so they can so they The event kicks off with a flag ceremony for both countries. Ambassador Matute has prepared a wide range of traditional Peruvian performances to celebrate this day with all the people who've come. Ambassador Matute also gave a speech explaining his hopes to further boost bilateral exchanges between Korea and Peru. Jóvenes coreanos viajan a Perú y desarrollan actividades de cooperación. Aprenden español. Asimismo, jóvenes peruanos conocer de primera mano el hip hop y el hip rap. Thanks to today's event, many Koreans have come to learn more about Peru and its history. Peru is 
8회 독립기념일 다시 한번 진심으로 축하드리고요. 여기 오기 전까지는 원래 페루에 대해서 잘 몰랐었어요. 그냥 마추픽추가 있다는 것만 알고 있었는데 와서 보니까 되게 관심이 많이 갔어요. 페루 독립기념일 축하드리고요. 앞으로도 한국이랑 페루가 교류가 많아졌으면 좋겠습니다. Through today's special event, we hope to see bilateral relations grow even stronger. Um, Ambassador, I heard that on Peru's Independence Day, the nation is literally covered in Peruvian um, flags all over because every household and even buses all attach the flag. Um, how important is the Independence Day for Peruvians? Well, this is very important. We celebrated with all flags in the house. People paint his house. It's, it's a really a big party. Mm. And also the army have his own, uh, how to say, march in the streets mm -hmm. and, and show uh, the, the sentiment of the, of mm. the people of mm. Peru for the independence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I see. Um, so Peru is also the origin of the very developed Inca culture, and we still can find a lot of traces from its culture. Mm -hmm. um, and Machu Picchu is one of the world's most famous destination. Uh, what are its charms? Well, um, as you say, Machu Picchu is our um, best, uh, uh, how to say, monument of the Incas. But we have another, as Choque Quirao, mm. as also the fortress of uh, Sacsayhuaman, mm -hmm. you know? And this is the Incas uh, in, pa, in heritage. And it's very important because Machu Picchu, people have been studied, it was the center of the people who really study and follow the government of the Incas in Pa. You know, mm -hmm. they name it the Kipu Kamayok. Mm -hmm. Kipu is a special, uh, how to say, accordance with different colors and different sizes. Mm -hmm. You know, and nobody can know exactly how can they read it. Mm -hmm. But the, the mm -hmm. Kipu Kamayok, the, the, the people who can read the, the Kipus, they know exactly how many people are in the pair, mm -hmm. how many in each part of Peru. How many uh, animals, how many land, mm -hmm. how, how was the producer, mm -hmm. and etc. Machu Picchu in this regard represent, mm -hmm. you know, a special and a very high, uh, how to say, uh, city who concentrate the the wisdom of the Incas. Mm -hmm, I see. Um, many people had to Peru to see Machu Picchu, and I heard that the number is increasing, um, not only worldwide, but also among Korean tourists as well. And just last year, more than 30,000 Koreans went to Peru. Yes. Um, how important is Korea to Peru's tourism industry? Well, it's very important for us. Uh, I'm going to tell you that uh, after China and Japan, Korea is the third country who visit our country. Mm. Peru is uh, very fond of K-pop and K-drama. Mm -hmm. And if you consider that in this moment, there are more like 8,000 different academies for younger who dance uh, K-pop, you mm -hmm. cannot believe it. You need to go there and see it, mm -hmm. you know? It's important because this is growing now, the, mm -hmm. how to say, the the tourists, the, the Korean tourists. In the future, we wanted to, to, to sign an air service agreement with, with Korea. Now Peru is preparing for receive more Korea. There are more restaurants, Korean restaurants. Mm -hmm. The kimchi has been doing a success there. Mm -hmm. The Soho, believe it or not, is something that they are now started to, to come in, inside of the, of the diet of, of, of the restaurants in, in Peru, mm -hmm. you know. They, they expected more uh, Koreans. They, they are, I have been listening that there are some kind of uh, businessmen who wanted to develop men hotels, especially for Koreans. Forget what they wanted to, to eat there, how the style of life that they want, etc. etc. Mm -hmm. This is important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I see. Um, Ambassador, I believe this is my last question. Um, how do you want to be remembered as an ambassador of Peru to Korea? I want to be remembered not as a friend, but as a brother of Koreans. And before I'm going to live there, I'm going to give my best for developing our relations in between Korea and Peru. 
in political uh, matters and economic matters, investment and trade. This is uh, the best thing that I can do for my people. Mm -hmm. uh, Ambassador, thank you very much for your time and also sharing your insights with our viewers today. Thank you very much for coming. You are very welcome always when you wanted to visit the Peruvian house. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to your future activities here in Korea. You are very welcome to go everywhere. Thank you. Okay, thank you.